Alright guys, there's a lot of people who've been using the Nikita lately because the Nikita has one of the fastest times to kill now for an assault rifle. And it's actually better than the NZ, even though I do like the NZ long range. But today I'm going to give you one of the best builds that I have found. On top of that, I'm going to tell you the main pros and cons that this has over the NZ right now. So you want to be able to use this gun to its full potential and not really use it where it doesn't need to be used. So right off, this is the build I have right here. The most important thing I will say is if you put all the recoil things as far as like the 613 right here is a recoil thing right there even the hatch crypt that has the horizontal and vertical recoil just putting a lot of recoil control on this gun right here is really going to make it have no recoil because if you if you mess up with like one or two attachments you have it where it doesn't have that recoil control then the gun is not going to be as good long range and you're going to see yourself not having fun and not killing a lot of people fast enough because you're going to be missing a lot of shots so having a full long range recoil control build is really going to help this gun perform at its best and it does have initial firing recoil too that's why i put like brace on it and stuff too uh, i actually had one of my members shred and spoke he did help me find out the meta on this build he uh sent it to me on tiktok so i was like oh everybody else is using this gun i didn't know that and that i looked up a video too and i saw t captain x he has a similar build if not the same one that i have right here i don't remember his build entirely but i did use his as like a template on how to build mine but the main thing that I really noticed when using this to its fullest potential is that it does not have the recoil control as good as the NZ41. So if you are using the NZ, which is still really meta right now, then you would be able to hit a lot longer shots and you'd be able to hit headshots a lot more easily than this gun right here. So this is like a mid-range where you can kind of go long range, but if you know that someone has a good long range AR and your gunfight is not super long range, then I wouldn't push with this assault rifle at all. I would just keep trying to get a lot of mid to close range of game engagements with this gun and don't push super long range with this if you want to beam people out the sky too try to make sure that they're close enough with the nz you still can kind of get away with beaming super far away people but with this gun you're not going to be able to get away with that at all especially because it runs out of bullets really fast being that it's a fast shooting gun and has 60 rounds in the clips you are going to see yourself using it a lot more mid-range and it does have a faster eds speed than the nz which you can really use to your advantage when you're fighting more mid-range fights so mid-range please use this gun please try to get all headshots and just center correctly to be able to melt your enemies really fast you're going to see really fast kills with this gun but don't use it long range like the NZ. It does not really compete with it. As, as far as recoil control and just shooting across the map and shooting really far away people that you can maintain recoil with. And on top of that in this video, I used that with this Blixen class setup right here. And that was the build that I have for this video. And you guys are gonna see exactly how I use this in the gameplay. Crazy that I So remember that time that I was in the I, I did a What? See, remember I did a face review? Wait, you did That's kind of weird. Man. I did. Yeah, I did not even play the so stop putting words in my mouth. Stop putting words in my mouth. I just showed I just showed that it's fine. Oh, if you stop putting your words in your mouth, then... Shut the f*** up, Smoke. <laughs> you know what they say, people who react that way to like comments like that, they're actually like their inner reflection. Actually, they're in a reflection. Yeah, uh, I'm just oh. picking it up as I go along, clearly. My diamonds and the You are so bad. You stop. This man is finna work grind for that mixer. Take no hit. Tell us what up, bro. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I really genuinely tell you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm gonna just shut the fuck up. Fuck this up. 
You know, Seal is like, I'll admit it. Sometimes, bro, I like don't know if I'm being serious or something. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. I can't, I don't even know how to be serious, bro. Like, should I even help you out in this? Or just let your ass die? Wow. I can't, how about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is weird. Watch out on you. Yeah, you're welcome. Ah. Mm, two guys in the uh, introduced said the says the words smacked and I love it. It's really funny. Did we? Did we like use it already? this bro Carbonation burp and go through the nose and burns. No? Alright, I guess I'll just go fuck myself. Hey, yo, this case was me, bro. He cracked him. Oh. Dude, these kids are absolutely dog. Literally, bro. One more. Pandemic, we gotta get UAVs up now. I'll drop money. And then you buy, I'll pull more. You need to quit the game. We're going into the cash for you, AD. You're welcome. Oh, no. I lied. Yo, Shrek, can you buy another loadout if you can? Yeah. It was dog water. If you see me pushing people, try to let me know that. It's the last one. Yeah, 
you dumb dumb. Whoa! Yo, Pandemic, go down there and get uh, UAVs. Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. I'll come with you. So we really gotta play this smart. Especially me. Come here, Seal. I got you. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I got you. Let's go. Oh, we got the chest, we got the chest, there's people fighting there. Or, right, not close to us, whatever. Why was this kid just running in a straight line? 